Well, it really started in high school. I, I was good in math and science, and I took an astronomy course after school. And that led me to work in an observatory. And so by the time I got out of high school, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm Jim Green, I'm the NASA chief scientist. It just seemed natural that space is what I wanted to do. So then as an undergraduate, I got a, an astronomy degree. I went on and got my uh, master's and PhD all from the University of Iowa. It was easy for me to get involved because it was just all around me. You know, there are many ways to get jobs at NASA. For foreign students to be able to come and work in NASA after they get their degree, they can apply for a postdoc position. And NASA takes a number of international students and, and has them come to their centers and they can work with scientists and uh, potentially get really involved in the program. You know, NASA has been involved in a variety of what we'd call traditional disciplines, but it also is pioneering a couple other really important fields, like the field of astrobiology, bringing biologists and chemists and mathematicians and statisticians coming in and working together to figure out where one would go to look for life, where are extremes here on Earth, is there life here in those extremes? And then see those extremes in space and look for life there. We can't do anything without good engineers. You know, they build spacecraft that can orbit the sun really close to the sun. We have engineers that can build spacecraft that are leaving the solar system. These are the engineering challenges that, that uh, NASA engineers step up to each and every day. It's an enormous field, and it's absolutely essential for us to do our work. You know, there's not just one career in NASA, there's actually so many careers in NASA. You take Earth science. What's the fate of humans on this globe? You know, how is the climate changing over time? What is that rate? How are we monitoring that? In planetary science, the ability to go to different places in our solar system, make spectacular measurements, and understand how, how these planets evolve over time. Allow us to believe in going to the moon and then on to Mars. And we now recognize Mars is a planet we can inhabit. We can go there, we can live, we can work, and we can return. We will not be founded by the gravity of Earth, only by our imagination. <laughs>